we're going to be miking up this kick drum with the Audix D6 microphone. This microphone is designed to make a drum sound good without any additional compression or EQ right out of the box. And if you're using the drum set live, it'll give you a studios type sound. I think one of the really cool things about the Audix D6 and the Audix microphones in general is that right out of the box, they are pre-EQ'd with the, with the frequency response curves that you would e expect the guy at the front of house to dial in. Right out of the box, run them flat, they're ready for your drums. If I'm gonna mic a drum set and I just have one mic to use, it's gonna be the D6. That's the first mic I'm gonna use to mic a drum set in a live situation. That's what always gets lost in the mix. And if you don't have enough kick in your monitor or out front, you tend to start to overplay as the volume on stage goes up. There are two basic mic positions for the kick drum. When using the D6, if you have a band, let's say that's playing harder rock or where there's a wall of sound, a really thick mix, like a big wall of guitars, you place the mic in towards the kick beater. And what that does is accentuates the beater against the head and lessens the lower end of the drum and thereby allowing you to cut through the mix a little better. In this position, the D6 is about six inches away from the head. I find that that's a really good position. Now the second one, if I'm playing, let's say, uh, more acoustic rock music or funk or soul or a jazz gig, I'm gonna pull the mic out towards the breather hole and that's gonna give me a lot more bottom end of the kick. Uh, it gives a nice bed for the rest of the band to sit on. So it's a full drum sound. It's more of the actual drum sound you'll be getting from further away from the beater head. And you get a little more impact from the total drum sound this way. Here's a quick tip. When using the D6 on your kick drum, this is a position you want to avoid. Because of the air currents coming out of the, the breather hole, they can cause kind of havoc with the phase because of the turbulence they create right here at the mouth. So never place the front of the microphone right at the breather hole. It's kind of like a wind tunnel. It is. It is. 